Gud, här. Här? Ja. Uh. Ah, det. What? Be that far away? Huh? It's around here somewhere. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hey? You haven't permission to hunt here. What? I'm a hunter. These things don't matter to us. We can hunt wherever we like. You understand? Huh? What do you mean it doesn't matter? The animals on Mount Kumkang belong to me. Get out of here. Go. Huh? I'm warning you, if I catch you hunting on this mountain, you'll regret it. Huh? You'll pay for this, my friend. You'll pay. Hey! Here you go. Here's some seeds for you. What are you so worked up about? Mother, I need your help. Something terrible has happened. What? Have you shot a deer on Mount Kumka? No. I found him with a wounded leg. Oh, poor little thing. He has a wounded leg. <coughs> Muda, bring me some cloth and some ointment. Thing, it's still not right. Mother, maybe the bone is broken. No, I don't think so. A little bit of ointment should put it right. <laughs> Do you see how happy our little duck is? <laughs> now hold the leg firmly and I'll put some more on. Yes. Be careful or you'll hurt him. Mount Kumkang wouldn't be so beautiful without him. Mother, shall I put her in the hayloft? No, no. Put her in with the duck. He'll be happy to have a new friend. <laughs> 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 These animals seem to have a language of their own, don't they? Of course they do. <laughs> Can't you sleep? Is your wound hurting you? No, it's Mudal, the one who saved me. Every time I close my eyes, I see his face. That's why I can't sleep. I know. The people in this family are really nice. It's an early morning. You should get Muda, some sleep. would you like to go somewhere with me today? Are you saying you've got something lined up for me? A possible bride? Don't worry. I'll get married when this magnolia blooms. How's that? You can't stay like that forever, you know. <laughs> oh, come on, mother. Bye. That Mudao, he's still just a boy, isn't he? Well, yeah, the only boy without a girlfriend. Really? Hasn't he met one of the fairies yet? What? What? You know about the story of the fairies who came to bathe in the apples? Quack, quack, quack. Oh. I don't know the story, but I've seen them with my own eyes. When there's a full moon, they come down to the pools to bathe. Are you sure? Quack. Yes. stay in paradise. What are you doing? Have you been hypnotized by the smell of peaches that have been ripening for a hundred years? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let the elders come here. 
Your Majesty, may I be the first one to speak to you? What? Is he talking about me? Oh, say wall. You are always the talkative one. Well, go on, say something. Has the cat got your tongue? My lord, the peaches are so very ripe and pretty, I'd very much like to have one if I can. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell by your blushing face that you've already had a taste. Our Arang gets even more beautiful every time I see her. Wouldn't you like to get married, hmm? Go on, you can tell me. I'd like to shower the sky's perfume over the eight pools on Mount Cook. Oh, that reminds me. Am I wrong if I say there's a full moon today? Um, mm -hmm. Now, if I could marry my son off to Arang, the Emperor's favorite, he'd end up being the Emperor's son-in-law, which would make me... Hey, you! Huh? Huh? Yes, my lord? Is there a full moon today? Yes, your majesty. Ah, then put your wings on and go down to the eight pools because the fairies will take a bath today. Yes, sir. <laughs> and keep your eyes peeled while you're on Mount Kumkang, for I don't want to hear about any unexpected event. The fairies must be protected, you understand? Yes, my lord. Open the cloud gates! Open the cloud gates! Try to walk. Go on. They're really nice. How can I ever repay them? I'm no good at this, poor devil that I am. I guess all I can do is watch the fairies having their dip. What a scene. Hmm? Let me see. Is there a full moon today? They've come down to bay. Ah, how lovely! The water in the eight pools is always so clear and fresh. Mm. Oh. How beautiful she is. Oh. Muda, don't you want to get married? Wow. How can you ever repay them? I swear, I'm going to get it together with Muda. Come on, girls. We go back.
doll. He was here a while Where's ago. Where's the doll? Why? I found a girl for him. A girl? Then we got no time to lose. She's beautiful. We got to bring Mudal to the eight pools. We got to bring Mudal to the eight pools. I must hurry up. I'll get him. Quick, wait for me. Wait for me. Dear? So mm. you've been missing me, Come haven't on. you? Mm. What? Mm. What is it? What do you want to tell me? I don't understand. Wait. Oh. All right. You lead the way. I'll follow. Let's go. thinking. Where's that sound coming from? Whoever's playing must have been spying on us. Shame on them. It goes really well with our death. <gasps> If we're quiet, we'll hear better. Ah, Sewol, let's sit down and listen to it for a while, shall we? It's very beautiful. Beautiful, lovely. Mmm, the fairies have fallen in love with Mudal's playing. Great! At last, Mudal can get married! <laughs> but wait a minute, does this mean that he's going to have eight wives? <laughs> Just Eric, the nicest one. Ooh, and how will you do? You'll see. Leave it to me. I hope you know how to handle it. Eh? Oh. oh. It's time to go back. Hurry up. Has the sound of that flute hypnotized you? Get your stuff together and let's go. We've so fallen in love with it that we just don't want to go back. <laughs> All right. As you wish, Sewol. You can stay if you want, but I'm going. It's just that the sound of that flute is so, uh, so hypnotizing. Come on, let's get going. All right, let's go. Hurry up. We don't want the captain of the guard to start worrying. Now, I left my wings in this tree. Oh, where have they got to? I, I can't see them. They must have blown away. Oh, my wings. Oh, no. Please come and help me. My wings. My wings have disappeared. Oh. What do you mean, disappeared? They can't be disappeared. What can I do? Oh. around instead of crying. I've looked everywhere. Everywhere! <laughs> Girls, it's time for us to be yes. off. Yes. Let's be go. Come on. Quickly, we've got to find Orang's wings. Yes. Yes. Come on, we've got to find you. Let's look for them. <gasps> Have you had a good look around the pool? <laughs> now what are we going to do? <sighs> Captain! What? The 
fairies are already going on their way, and I went and fell asleep. I think I better hurry up, or I'll miss them. I must go. Don't be afraid. I live here on the mountain. Stay away from me! Be careful! You might fall! It's dangerous! <gasps> Don't be frightened. I'll help you. Come on, come with me. I don't need your help. But you can't stay here all alone. It'll be getting dark soon. Can't you see? Come home with me to my mother's house. You're kind, but you can go home. Don't worry about me. Don't be so stubborn. You can trust me. Honestly, you can, Miss Arang. Come on. How is it possible that you know my name? I heard the other fairies calling to you. Was it really you who was playing the flute? Yes. Where did you hide my wings? What, me? I beg you, kind sir. Give me back my wings. But <laughs> I... If I don't find them, I'll be finished. <laughs> Look, Miss Arang, don't be so worried. It's all right. Your wings are somewhere. I promise you, we'll find your wings. Let's get down to the valley before it gets dark. Uh, Go on. You see, you did not find me. You certainly me. have. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> But what's going to happen when she finds those wings? She'll be out of here in a flash! I doubt it. That fairy's not going anywhere. We'll do everything for her to stay. How can you be so sure? Stop asking me questions. We've got to tell his mother the whole story before they do. Mm -hmm. You've got a nerve talking to me like that! Excuse me, sir. I'm all right now. I can spend the night under this rock. There are a lot of wild animals on this mountain who really couldn't care less about a fairy. <gasps> but, if you insist, you can do as you please. <laughs> ah! oh, help me, please! Oh. Huh? Uh, why are you so upset? Don't be afraid. I live alone with my mother, and it's no problem for you to come and spend the night in our Wait, cabin. Together? Come on, let's go. <gasps> oh, I don't know why I'm upsetting myself so much today. <sighs> Who's there? Is, is that 
you, Muda? Yes, it's me. Let us in. Mother, you won't believe it. I met this girl today. Yes, yes, Muda, I'll bring her in. Don't worry, bring her right in. Oh. Hey. Uh -huh. hey? Oh. Don't be silly. You don't have to curtsy to me. Do get up. Welcome to our humble cabin. I don't know how these things happen on Mount Kumkag. Yes, yes, don't worry. Come in. Make yourself at home. Oh, no, the spare room is a mess. Sit here and make yourself comfortable. <sighs> I can understand how sad you are about losing your wings, but don't worry. My son, Muda, will find them for you. Oh, silly me, you must be hungry. You put your feet up for a bit, and I'll go and prepare you some rice. <laughs> I can't believe my wings just flew away by themselves. I bet Mudal hid them so that he could take me to his cabin. <gasps> Peeled if I want to get out of here. Oh. oh, my sisters. What am I going to do? The Emperor will be worried about me. Oh. How dare you return in front of me to my kingdom without Aran? My poor Aran. Stand back. He needs some of his medicine. Oh, leave me alone. Your Majesty, are you all right? A little better. Please, Your Majesty, try some more of the medicine. Oh, go away, man. I'm fine. It's better for you to get back to your post. I will always be with you in my heart. Mm. How's little Aran going to manage to survive down there? She doesn't know anyone. There must be some nice people down there, you know, friendly people she can trust. Mm, no, no. Aran's gone forever. Aran is very brave, and she can look after herself. I'm sure she'll meet some nice man who will help her, help her find her wings so she can return to the kingdom. Quiet! When did you ever meet a nice man? I'll punish you for this. My lord, forgive me! Please forgive me! I know I deserve a thousand punishments for not bringing Aaron back to the kingdom, but if you give me another chance, I swear to you, I'll bring her back! I should put you in prison for a thousand years, but I shall agree. I'll give you one more chance. Return to Mount Kumkang at once. From this day forth, no ferry is ever again to go down to Mount Kumkang. Do I make myself clear? <gasps> it's been three months and I still haven't found my wings. Oh, don't be in such a fret. I'll give you something to eat as soon as I've moved this pot. That little duck is so sweet. He's really lovely, isn't he? Mother, <laughs> let me do that it's for you. It's not that heavy. Are you off somewhere? Yes. The grass in the meadow is very high and I'm going to cut it. Then I'll look for the wings. Good. I'll ask around in the village. Hmm. 
Mother, could you do me a favor and bring my lunch down to the meadow for me? Mother, let me help you. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Yesterday evening, Moodle caught up some oh, fish, and delicious. I've prepared a soup for you. If you want, I'll serve you some. Mother, I've got two hands of my own, you know. It's my pleasure. Have you ever tasted honey water? <laughs> no. Why not? You have to be in good shape for your trip back to the kingdom. You go ahead and help yourself. I have to go out for a little while. You eat. Oh, she's so kind and considerate. Oh, it just doesn't seem right. I think we should take Arang to meet Mudal. Do you understand, Ooh, my friend? I know. Arang's at home alone because Mudal has just gone out to the meadow. I know. Why don't we take her out to the meadow, too? Because the nearer is the piece of wood to the flames, the faster it burns. The nearer is the piece of wood to the flames? What are you talking about? I know it, my friend. I'll explain it to you. You must know uh -huh. that we are lobs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you bring me my lunch, Mother? <laughs> Phew, it's hot. Mother? Could I have some water, please? Oh, no. This is hot, eh? But <laughs> this isn't water. This is honey water. Why are you acting so strangely? Oh, I think our little trick's been this colder. Don't worry, the fire of love takes a while to get going. Uh -huh. Look! <laughs> Mother? Are you angry with me? Mother, if I've done something wrong, you must tell me. <laughs> ah! teach him a thing or two. No, don't. You shouldn't scold him. It was my fault for putting on the clothes in the first place. I won't if you say so, dear. It's up to you. Now I want to show you something. Hmm. I want to give this to you. What? Look at this and tell me if you like it. Arang, you can wear this if you like. Keep it until you find your wings. You'll be more comfortable this but way. But this is for your son's wedding, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's true, but my son hasn't even found a girlfriend yet. When he finds But one. you must have gone to a lot of trouble over this. I couldn't. Go on, try it. Oh, it's pouring rain. Oh. It looks perfect on you, Arang. It looks just right. You'll be able to go all around Kumkag Mountain now. Oh, Mother, I'll never forget everything you've done for me. 
Oh, don't say that, Arang. I'm doing this because it pleases me. All I want is for you to go back to the kingdom, safe and sound. Oh, thank you, Mother. I wonder why he's so late. He went up to the mountain. He was worried about the magnolia he planted up there this morning. All he ever thinks about is that mountain. I don't need it. You use it before you get so. I'll go with you. Hmm, what on earth can they be up to in this darkness? <sighs> it was your father oh. that put it here, but it's fallen down and downpour. I'll have to put it right, but first. Oh. Be careful. We'll lift it together. Oh. It's a good thing I have work. Otherwise, what would I do with all this strength I need? <laughs> yes, right. Uh. You might get rusty. <laughs> mm. There. Mother, give me the plant. Aaron, you're here. Y you'll get all wet, dear. Were you, were you worried about this? I couldn't us? sleep. What are you doing here, Aaron? In this rain? The plant's been hurt. It might even be broken. But you're losing blood. No, it's only a scratch. But you're losing a lot. No, no, it's Here, nothing. put a bandage around it. Don't worry, Mother. But you mustn't... There you are. and has come here to collect a rang. <laughs> duck! Hey, duck! Dear, what's happened? Where's a rang? Did you see where she went? A rang? Huh? <laughs> She's enjoying a little walk in the country with her boyfriend. Because she went to the mountain. What? Oh, <laughs> oh no! What are you? I don't have time to argue with you. Do you realize that the captain of the guard is down here looking what? for her? Oh, no! Now we're for it! Well, she's on the mountain! Oh, where? Arion's pool! The Rion's pool? Exactly! Rion's pool! Wait for me! We go together! Quack, quack! i 
Let's make it up to that rock. You know, Arang, there's a place way up there on the mountain that they call the Door of Good and Evil. What does it mean, the Door of Good and Evil? When you go through it, you can tell the difference between good and bad. Are you sure? Of course I am. Come on, let's go in. I don't want to. What's the matter now? I... I... I made a fool of myself, dressing up as your mother. And what about you? You hid my wings, so you see it was... Huh? Do you still think it was me who took them? Aran! <sighs> now that you've told me what you think, we can go in. Come on. Where on earth is Aran? Where are you? Arang still thinks I'm the one who took her wings. Now I've really got to find them. Mm, won't I be in trouble if the door of good and evil finds out I've made mistakes? We're at the foot of Mount Kunka. Oh, these flowers. This you are a beautiful flower among the flowers. I have never been in such a beautiful place. Look, this is where I was born. Oh, it's wonderful! That picture painted on the walls, the cottage, and the waterfall at Pimbong, isn't it? I was standing right here where you are now when I drew it. But do you really know how to draw like that? My father used to make drawings of the mountain. He taught me. Good heavens! You mean to tell me that this hand that toils in the fields can draw as well? Can it really be true? <laughs> 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 that sounds like Lady Arang's laugh. Good Lord, that looks like her. It appears to be her. She must have changed her clothes. Wow. I've got to get closer. Hey, where are you going? It's an awful thing to spy on people, but it's something we must do. Uh -huh. What a mess. Uh -huh. Why? The captain of the guard has arrived. Why? The captain of the guard! <laughs> oh, Drew, I guess he's off to a run. Then, let's do something. All right. Oh! She moves like Arang, and she certainly looks like Arang. And the boy walking with her is that wretch who told me off for hunting. What? You're very good at weaving silk, I see. I used to weave silk in the kingdom of the sky. You shouldn't work so hard. Have a cool drink of water. Look how you're sweating. Ah. Mother, I'm happy living and working here. I am so proud of it, you know? Go on, drink it up, Arang. Mmm, this is really delicious. Would you like a little honey water? No, it's all right. I've just learned the difference between honey water and drinking water from your son. <laughs> Have some fresh water. Oh, thank you. It's so hot out. <laughs> you know, um... Mmm, mm, mm. mm, this water is nice and cool. It's not honey water, you know. I know, but brought by you, it tastes even better than honey. A cool drink of water after hard work makes it worth it. 
To enjoy things to the limit, you have to work hard for days and days and be proud of the results, my dear fairy. Look, that melon you're cutting cost me a lot of sweat. Instead of making fun of me, why don't you teach me how to work in the fields? <laughs> Lady Orang, I don't really think you need to learn these things. Once we've found your wings, you can go back to your life in the Sky Kingdom, and you'll forget all this. That's enough! I'm not going back to the Sky Kingdom. I'm staying here and working in the fields. Hm. Huh? Oh, Mother. I want to know how to live here. I want to stay here. I'll do some weaving. You rest for a while. Oh, I'm not sure if my son understands what she really wants. Here, I'll do some weaving. You rest for a while. I'll finish it. All right, why don't you go and get us some melons, all right? Good idea. Be sure to tell Mudal to pick only the ripe ones. I will. He's <laughs> such a sweet little thing. If she goes back to the kingdom, Mudal will be so upset. Oh, he's not here. Oh, maybe he's gone further up the mountain. He's so stubborn. Why doesn't he try to understand? Oh, that's Mudal. Today, I really must talk to Mudal. <laughs> Well, look who it is. Do you remember me? Of course I remember you. You know perfectly well what I'm here for. Where's Arang? What do you think? On Mount Kunkan. Where have you hidden her? I know what you're up to. You've taken her wings and now you're trying to fool her. If you know so much, then why are you asking me? Shut up! Careful what you say. People here don't like that kind of thing. I'm warning you. Go on, get away. Wretch! You're rash! Blast it! Ah. 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 I don't want your dirty blood to stain Mount Kumkang. Ah. Ah. Stop it! Ah. 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 That's enough! Stop! He's the captain of the guard in the Sky Kingdom! My lady! Have you suffered terribly here? My good sir, have you been sent to look for me? Lady Arang, the whole of the Sky Kingdom is in tears. The Emperor is distraught. Your oh. sisters are refusing to eat and cry day and night. If you delay any oh. longer, You'll never see His Majesty again! You oh. must come back to the Kingdom immediately! <gasps> And anyway, why on earth would you want to stay in this desolate place? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, my lady. You can return to the kingdom on this cloud, please. Enough! What happened to you, Arang? Why didn't you go back with the captain of the guard? I, I couldn't leave her. I, I couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't because you didn't have your wings? Or because you didn't want to? Mm. Uh. Ooh. 
You'd better go down the mountain with me. I can't walk. Oh, you must have sprained your ankle. Here, let Ouch. me have a look. You're hurting me. Don't touch it. Where can a rank be? Doc, what are you doing wandering around in the dark? Hey, <laughs> there you are. Where did you find that basket? This basket, I found it in the middle of the field. And what about a rank? If you ask me, the captain of the guard has taken her away. Oh, have that rabbit man! Well, don't just stand there. We have to do something. Where on earth are we going? Oh, excuse me, please. Ah, oh, look, there's a fire oh. over there. Oh, what? Where? What fire? Where? <laughs> huh? oh, ah, the flames generated from love. How will you get back to the kingdom in this condition? All right, I'll stay here forever. Arang, do you mean it? Of course I do. My wings are gone forever. I'm going to live on Mount Kumkang. <laughs> do you still believe I was the one who stole your wings? Remember that the people from here are like this mountain where we live. Mm -hmm. They're good people, mm -hmm. generous, hard workers who help one another. Mm -hmm. ah. We've lived in peace and harmony for generations. Do you think you could live here always, Arang? Yes, I love this place so much. I would really love to live on Mount Kunkang. I'll find your wings, I promise. You don't have to. But if I don't find them, will you always think I was the thief? What are you afraid of? I don't think it was you, believe me. I'm afraid you won't think I'm honest. Mm, let me down. Somebody might see us. Can you walk? Yes. Even I still have to learn a lot of things about helping and trusting others. Why is Mudao playing so sadly this evening? He looked all over the mountain for those wings and couldn't find them. Poor Mudao. Then he could not find them, hmm? Now, dear! And everyone thinks he's a thief! It was that blasted captain who said everyone mm -hmm. that uh, Mudao was a thief and was just falling around. Really? Are you sure about that? No rank suspects Mudao. That's why he's playing his flute so sadly. She thinks Mudao's a thief. Oh, doesn't mm -hmm. make you mad. It makes me mad. Whee! Mudal's innocent. <laughs> mm? Oh. No ridiculous. Doc, <laughs> I have to tell you something. I was the one who stole the wings. It was me. What? What was that you said? Uh, Doc, I did it because I wanted to help him. Oh, the wings. It was me. I hate them. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Great! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now we can mm -hmm. forget about the whole thief business. Hooray! No, we can't. We can't? Why not? I can't give her anger wings back until she's a mother with three children. Three children, do you understand? <laughs> hey? If I give her back the wings, she'll return to the Sky Kingdom. <laughs> don't understand. And Rang and Mudala are together forever now. You so for yourself. Give them back. Give the wings back to Rang. No. Hey, you want poor Mudala to be unhappy for the rest of his life? That's no way to thank him. It doesn't matter. I can't do it. <sighs> Good heavens, it's morning already. Huh? Where's my dress? Mother, where's my dress? Are you up already? I washed it and I just have to iron it for you. Where are you off to? I'm going to go and get some water. I'll do it. No, let me go. The pool isn't far from here, you know.
The Emperor is very upset over her disappearance, and her sisters are always crying. Arang, come back to us. I'm sorry, my sister. I don't want to leave here. You're in love with that Mudal, aren't you? All he ever does is work. Yes, it's true. And why shouldn't I fall in love? Tell me. Forget Mudal and come back where you belong. Come back, Aran. Come back, come back. I can't. I can't leave Mudal. And then, what's so wrong with working hard? <laughs> you again? I've got to get back to the cottage with the water. They're waiting for me. I can't be late. All right, all right. You lead the way. <laughs> Go on. But why have you brought me here? Oh, but these are my wings! Whoever could have hidden them here? My wings! My wings! So it was you! Who hid my wings? Oh, my wings! My wings! Your Majesty, sisters, I found my wings! Oh! oh, oh. Oh, did I understand right? Yes, I've already given them back to her. Mudal, I found my wings! <laughs> I wonder where Arang is. Strange. Perhaps she ran into the captain of the guard and went away with him. I saw her leaving with her fairy dress on and she seemed to be in quite a rush. Still, it's not like her to leave like that without a word to any of us. Mother, I'm off to work. Send a rang out with my lunch, will you? Of course. Mother, what is it? What happened? Tell me, where's a rang? She left the house early this morning, but I, I don't know what she had to do. Maybe she went home. Mother! Mother! I found them! What has Aaron found, do you think? I don't know. I found my wings! <laughs> Your wings? You found them? You finally found them. <laughs> I, I found my wings! Look, here they are! Finally. You were worried about it for so long, dear. I'm glad it finally worked out. If I hadn't found them again, I'd never have been able to make up for the mistake that I made. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm very happy that now you can go back to the Sky Kingdom. Uh, I'm happy for you. Mother, that isn't the reason I'm so excited. Now I can ask for your son's forgiveness for accusing him of stealing my wings. Keep hold of them, otherwise you'll lose them again, Arang. I mean it. Oh. Mother, do you want me to go back? That I go back to the Sky Kingdom? Calm down, dear. If you want, you can go back. I don't want to. I was hoping you'd stay here with us. I'm not going back there. <laughs> Let's go back to the cottage now with the water. and come back to the I'm kingdom! I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. Listen to me, Lady Arang! I don't want to go. Put them on, quickly. You must come with me. Ha 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 ha!
From now on, you're never coming down here again. to put you in prison to get rid of all that filth you brought up here from the earth. When you finally see sense, I can take you to the Emperor. He's extremely angry with you for falling in love with some stinking laborer. You think it over. There are lots of nice, refined young men for you here in the kingdom. My son, for instance. I've heard enough. Come on, get out of here. Lady Aaron, think it over. Oh, Muda, what am I going to do without you? <laughs> I have orders not to let anyone into the prison. You go away. My sisters. Aran, I would never have thought that you'd end up in prison. Are you all right? Your hands are all rough. And your face as well. Oh, sisters, tell me, were you worried about me? How can anyone survive down there? There's no one you can trust. That's not right. There might be nice people on Earth. You're right. There were many nice people and they helped me. I was happy down there. Everybody loved me. I met a very handsome young man who... He gave me hospitality. He lived with his mother who treated me like a daughter. They fed me. They taught me how to work in the fields. All the sadness of the world in the way Mudal plays. Well, he could be ill, or maybe he will fall alone. What's uh, that noise? It's the sound of the golden bucket when it comes down from the sky. Oh, the golden bucket? What's that? When there's a full moon, a golden bucket is lowered from the sky to take water from oh, the pool. Oh, why don't we try and get up to the sky kingdom in the Ooh. golden bucket? Yes, good yeah. idea. Yeah, let's go and let's take go. a look. Look. Oh, that's lovely. Look at it going up. All night long, they'll get them up and down from the sky. Um, do you know what I'll do? i go up to the Sky Kingdom and bring Aaron back, huh? But how are you going to do it? I hide under the water and when the bucket starts to go up, I climb in, huh? You're a genius. There's one coming down in a minute. I'll wait for it. Are you sure you want to do it? Leave it to me. I owe them a favor as well. What favor are you talking about? It could be dangerous, you know? I never saw my parents. They were killed by wild animals. I was starving and homeless. I was cold and alone. And Mudal and his mother saved my life. I'll never forget their goodness. Never. I see what you mean, my friend. We're both in that debt to them. Then 
I'm off. See you soon. Hurry bye back, bye, my, my friend, friend, and be careful. Goodbye. I'm afraid your friend Aran won't be able to take a bath today. Aran is in prison. If only she could get out of that prison. Yes! What? <laughs> Don't be afraid. I was waiting for you. I know you're Aran's friend. Who are you? Where are you from? Hey, hey! I'm a dog that comes from Earth to the sky inside a bucket. What do you want? I want to help Rag to get out of that jail. Are you serious? I never tell lies. Take me to Aran. That's great. Uh, Follow me and keep low. Uh, What are you looking at? Oh, look! Hey, that's incredible! Look at its lovely oh, skin! So soft! What's going on? God, don't let the crane in. Yes, my lady. What happened? It was just a little crane. I'll give you a message to take to Mudal. <gasps> I'm imprisoned here in a cage, like a bird without wings. I miss you and our mother terribly. <laughs> the distance between the earth and the sky stretches more and more. You can't come to me, and your little bird <laughs> cannot fly and reach you. Oh, but my love for you <laughs> is deep, and it will be forever. You are forever in my heart. I want to come back to you, my dear Mudal, and I pray you always to remember me and hold me in your heart, just as you do with your Kum Kang Mountain. <laughs> oh, Orang, you mustn't leave me. I would never have imagined that Arang had such strong feelings. Mother. Mother, I've decided I must go to Orang. I'm really proud of you, my son. 
If you love Arang, follow your heart. Thank you, Mother. I want to get Arang back, and I've decided to save her tonight. Arang would be very happy to know this, son. She's the right girl for you. She loves you very much. Here, take this. You must be well-dressed when you show up at the Emperor's wow. Palace. Take it. Go ahead. Put it on. Here. It's a little bit big on you, but don't worry. It'll do. Here, leave that flute and take this one. It's made of jade and has been handed down by your great-grandfather. It belongs to our family. Thank you for everything, dear mother. You'll come across many dangers on your journey to the Sky Kingdom. The jade flute is going to help you. Yes, mother. You are a true son of Mount Kumkang. And I'm sure you can overcome any obstacle, my son. Yes, mother. I surely will. <laughs> Nose breaking. Last golden bucket is leaving. <laughs> Haven't you filled the pool yet? It's time for the fairy's bath. It's very strange. Why is the golden bucket so heavy? Get a move on. A golden bucket is very heavy. Heavy? Your Majesty, if you'll allow me, I must tell you that the golden bucket seems to be very heavy. There must be something inside What on earth are you talking about, Captain? It's the first time that something like this has happened, my lord. Come on, open the cloud gates and check everything. Yes, my lord. Open the cloud gates! Open the cloud gates! Huh? Turn the lever now! Yes, sir. There's a man in the bucket, your lordship. What should we do, your majesty? He is a spy, certainly. We should kill him immediately. What? Don't just stand there. Take this, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Monster! Stand by for my orders! Destroy that wretch in the golden bucket! And don't let him move anymore! Oh, ah. Oh, 
Captain, let him enter and come immediately to me. But your majesty, that's Madal, the boy who took our rang. You can't let him in. What? What? I order the head of ceremonies to treat that young man as a guest of our kingdom. Get him in the palace. Yes, your majesty. Let's go. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Stranger, in the name of the Emperor, we welcome you to the Sky Kingdom. Oh, no, 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 no. There must be a mistake. <laughs> Don't worry, there's no mistake. Girls, take him into the palace. Welcome. What? Welcome. 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 Hmm. He's not a usual kind of young man. If here in the kingdom I could find a lad like that, I'd marry him off to my orang immediately and set them up right here. I'm sure that my orang would be very happy with a man like this. <laughs> the captain of the guard is coming. Let him come to me. Good morning, my lord. Mm. That blasted Madal is causing nothing but trouble. Now he's asking to see Orang. He wants to see absolutely, Your Majesty. He's mad. Listen, you're the captain of my guard, and you should try to speak and behave as such. Excuse, excuse me, Your Majesty. I, I didn't mean to blast it. I absolutely must avoid to make him Madal angry. Madal is an extremely courageous young man. Never hear him raising his voice. I'd be happy to have him as my son-in-law. You are generous, my he lord. He made the journey all the way here because he's in love with Arang and he wants to see if her. If you permit me, your majesty, the only way Mudar would remain here would be if you could move Mount Kunkang up into the sky. Is he that attached to the place where he lives? If that's the case, he can stay here while I organize myself to have the mountain Kung Kang moved from the earth to here in my kingdom. Your idea is really a good one, Your Majesty, and I'm sure he'll appreciate it. But did you think about the consequences? You're right, my captain. I didn't realize this. What will I have to do to have a rang and Moodal to stay here? I must reflect. He's a good looking boy. He certainly is. He is for sure. Don't you think, sisters? <laughs> Mudal is here. He wants to speak to the Emperor. Show him in. Greetings, my lord. My name is Mudal, and I'd like to speak with you. Hmm, rise. How do you like this place? Do you feel comfortable? Very much. I'm very grateful to you, and I'm touched by the warm reception I received oh, here. <laughs> such kind words. Thank you, Your Majesty. I love Orang. Are you so truly in love with Orang that you would marry her? I would never have made the dangerous journey here if I didn't love her. I only ask your permission, my lord, to return to Mount Kunkang with Orang. Truly a courageous young man, I must find a way not to let him return to the mountain. Uh, I accept your request. I entrust my daughter to you because I know she loves you too. Thank you again, my lord. There goes my dream. I take you to my heart as my son-in-law. We'll have a magnificent wedding. You and Orang really make a handsome couple. That's very kind of you, your majesty, but I'd like us to have our wedding on Mount Kumkang, where I was born. All right, fine. Have the wedding on the mountain as you wish, and that way you two will be happy. I just don't know how I can thank you, your majesty. I'm already feeling sad at your parting. Oh, um, by the way, Orang tells me that you're very good at drawing the mountain. Is that true? Do you know how to draw? 
Well, I'd like to see this beautiful place of yours. I'm just an amateur, really. Could you do me a little favor? Anything you ask, Majesty. It won't be difficult for you. As you want to leave immediately after the wedding, I already know that I'm going to feel sad and lonely without you, and I wonder if you could draw Mount Kumkang, the place you're going to live, so looking at the picture, I'll be able to think of you happy together. You honor me, and I'd be glad to give it a try, Your Majesty, even though I'm actually not very good at drawing. Oh, can you do it without seeing the mountain? I can draw the mountain even without looking at it, because it's in my heart. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, good. Are you there, Captain? Get everything ready for the drawing and give it to Mudal. Yes, Majesty. Come on, come on. Get him everything he asks for, all the pencils and colors and whatever you have to draw. At your Go. service, Your Majesty. That old fox has got some magic up his sleeve. It's ah, perfect. Ah, good, mm. good. Mm. You're so right. Mm. It's true. Mm. Ah. the drawing of the mountain in the sky. Aha! Marvelous! I can hear the rush of the waterfall. You've been wonderful. It's perfect. Majesty, I thank you for your kind words. Mudal, prepare yourself to go down to the mountain. All right. It's thanks to you, Your Majesty, that Mount Kumkang has been brought right here to the Sky be Kingdom. Be quiet, be quiet. If our plan fails, it'll all be your fault. A thousand pardons, Your Majesty. Even if Mudal is a brave boy, he'll change his tune when he sees what he's in for. I want you to know that I want him to succeed to my throne. He and no one else. Mudal ends up being Emperor. I'm finished for good. You've all gone quiet. What is it? Huh? Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. I'm struck dumb in admiration, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, huh? I have come to say farewell. I was just about to send for you. Your Majesty, this very day, Orang and I are going back to Mount Kumkang, as we agreed. The Emperor always keeps his word. Stand up. I already ordered Orang to get ready. Whilst waiting for her, come out with me onto the terrace to see the sun rise, will you? Come, come, you'll see what a marvelous spectacle it becomes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh, these things are for Orang. Um, I had them done for her. Magnificent. They're really beautiful. Ah, <laughs> they're all handmade. What exquisite workmanship. I like them very much. Ah, this was a birthday present from the Dragon King when Orang was ten. 
Arang adores this crystal peacock. She's crazy about them. It looks as if it's just about to fly away. Hmm, it's true. You know, I'd do anything for Arang. She is the joy of my life. But what do you think of the sunrise? Isn't it wonderful? Truly superb. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> look, look. That Mount Kumkang I see over there. Yes, that's the mountain you love, the one you huh? are so mad about. Just looking at it makes me long to go home. I miss it. I miss it so much. I understand, and that's why I've transported Mount Kumkang up to the Sky Kingdom. I want you and Arang to stay here with me. Arang would love it because she doesn't want to leave me all alone. Your Majesty, I love Mount Kumkang very much, and I can't stay away from it for too long. Look, young man, that mountain is the same that you painted in such detail. So that's what you meant to do right from the start. Now I understand. It was all a trick. Dear Mudal, why do you want to go back down to Earth? You know you have to work so hard there. Stay with Arang here in the Sky Kingdom, and one day the throne will be yours. How can you possibly refuse? Don't you understand I'm giving you a kingdom? You just don't understand the people of Mount Kumkang. I love Arang, but I love Mount Kumkang even more. I can't live away from it, and I'll die if I won't be able to go back. Oh. You must excuse me for speaking like this, but it's the truth, and I'm going back to it. Farewell. But, but why? No, I can't stay in the Cloud Kingdom. Uh, hey, wait, young man. Uh, don't go so fast. You can't reject the Emperor's generosity Out like of the this. way, please, and open the Cloud Door this instant. Do you want to die? You can't go away like this. I'll go back to Mount Kumkang, even if it costs me my Calm life. Calm down. Don't be so hurried. Think again. Open the door. Only the Emperor has permission to open the door. <laughs> Get out of the way. Really, young man. Open the cloud gates! Open the cloud gates! Open the cloud gates! The Emperor's magic will surely work. Mudal will have no power to resist it. village hates you. Everybody is complaining and they are waiting for you to come back to take their revenge. They will kill you and they'll kill your mother too. This boy loves with his whole heart and is free of greed and hate. I can't harm him. I can't keep him here. The Emperor is bound to keep him here, even against his will. But this must not happen. I absolutely have to get my son married to Arang. At any price. I'll have to kill Mudal and get rid of him. Princess Arang is terribly worried for him and won't eat or sleep. <gasps> what? It's a magic flute. Yes. <gasps> ah! <gasps> How do you dare to touch something that doesn't belong to you? How is the young man? Is he better? Did he wake up? Not yet, sir. Oh, dear. The Emperor is very worried. Why are you standing there doing nothing? Put it down and go and get me a glass of cool water. Um, immediately. But I've just brought you this one. Well, then get me another one, then. Yes, sir. 
Hmm. If he does get better, he'll certainly play the flute, and then I'll get rid of him. Now what can I do? Princess Arang told me to get him to drink this water to make him feel better. <gasps> Watch out for the captain of the guard! Uh. Mother, let me go. I want to get up. Ah, 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 ah. Are you mad? How do you dare take Mount Kunkag to the Sky Kingdom just for love, Mudal? Take it and get it back immediately. Get it back immediately! It wasn't me. It wasn't me. The uh, flute will help you, Mudal. Blow it as hard as you can and put your whole heart into it. And blow! Uh, blow it! The flute? Where's my jade flute? Eh? Eh? Oh. Even if playing this flute means dying of poison, I can't leave Mount Kumkang in the Sky Kingdom. No, don't! Oh, oh, princess! flies to the heavens, it will still be with Mount Kunkang. I will return to my village. I must do it! I must do it! Doctor! Doctor! What happened to him? What is the matter? Why does he feel so it bad? It really seems he has been poisoned. What? Somebody poisoned him. Mudal! Who poisoned you? Mudal. Try to answer me. <laughs> What's going on? Is she feeling bad too? Take her away! Who could have done this? Who was it? We don't know. But it seems that the flute was poisoned. Look oh. at his complexion. Its color is not the same anymore. Mudal would have played it even if he had known. He is a brave boy. He's a son of Mount Kunkan, and he mustn't die. Yes, your majesty. I'll do the possible and the impossible. <laughs> it's my fault because I wanted him to stay here with us. Who could have poisoned him? And why? 
I've always kept the poison safe in my royal cupboard, and I put the key in a secret place. I wonder who could have stolen it. I don't know who to suspect. Maybe a servant, maybe a concubine. I don't know. Oh, no, no. Your Majesty, did something happen? Where have you been? What were you doing? It's a full moon this evening, and I was busy drawing water from the pools. Listen to me. Someone poisoned this flute tonight. Yes? I want to know who did it. I want to know who stole the poison from my cupboard, too. You must find him and bring him to me. Do you understand? Your Majesty, it was me. I disobeyed your orders. Forgive me. Forgive me. I wanted to help you. I Damn wanted to you, help you. you, you snake, you traitor. You'll be banished from my kingdom for this infamy. No, I'll throw you into a cell for all your life. For all your life. But I did it for your sake, your majesty. Have pity. Have pity. Guards, me. obey Forgive my me. orders. I shall service your majesty. majesty. Take him away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take him away. Oh, your majesty. Throw him into your the majesty. darkest dungeon and let him your rot majesty. there forever. Your majesty. Forever. Your majesty. Arang, how is Mudal? Is he yes, better? He's better, Your Majesty. No, he isn't mm. better. Ah, oh, blast it. This we could have done without. We could have done without this. The doctor said that your sweetheart has been poisoned. You go on crying, but he won't come back to life. Uh, try to calm down. Don't worry. I'll surely find someone else for you. Wait and see. Uh, you'll be happy. <laughs> Majesty, if you love me, please respect his last desire. You must let me take his body back to Mount Kumgang, because this is what he asked. Please, No, please. no, no, I can't let you go. Then in this case, let me drink the poison, because I wish to rest in eternity along with my dear Mudal. Is this what you really want? Yes, I beg you, Your Majesty. I beg you to I my knew last I was wish. right about you, my daughter. You are truly loyal. I am touched by your loyalty and I am deeply moved. You are the daughter everyone would wish for himself. Stop crying. Mudal drank from the spring of life and will soon get better, much better. <laughs> Arang, get ready to go back to Mount Kumkang with your Mudal. Oh, my flute. Have you seen my flute? Where's my flute? Mudal! Your jade flute is here! <laughs> uh, Arang! Arang! Mudal! Arang! I've got your jade flute! Arang! for Mount Kungang has brought us together again. I'm so happy. Your great love is what made it possible, Arang. Oh, Well, 
Now you'll have to stay with me forever, alright? <laughs> Here's our mountain kumkan. to come, Orang became the mother of three children and worked hard in the fields with Mudal to live for many years in peace and happiness on Mount Kumkang. <laughs> 